In this video, we'll learn how to apply borders to particular cells. So if you want to apply some borders using a macro, how we do it. Without macros using this Excel, it is very easy. But if you want to automate a task every now and then, if you use it, how do we work on that? So let's see that. Now, if you see, I've created a sheet as G borders, G underscore borders, and the same Excel file, Excel VBA. I've written some text in A1 to A10. I want to apply borders from A1 to A10. So what's the method I can use? Okay, borders, I mean to say in this font group, if you see that there's a font, uh, that is a borders which are given here. This is the different borders if I want to apply. I want to change the width of that or you can say as weight of the border, the color of the border, or I want to change the style of the border. How do I do that? So I'll just go back and yeah, let's see now. So what I'll do is I'll open the VBA editor. All right, so in this VBA editor, I've created G underscore borders. There's one module which I've created and I've written as sub borders. Okay, you want you change the name and I've written some text here, some statements in the macro part. But let me explain you with one example. Then I'll come and show you this in the entire data, what I've written here. So how do I want to apply a border? First thing is select the area on which you want to apply the border. So my area is A1 to A10 dot. What do you want to do with that range? I want to apply a border. So just type here as borders, okay, dot. What do you want? Do you want color, line style, or do you want weight? What do you want exactly? So if you see the first option is given as color, and if you see the last option is given as line style, if you go down and if you see there's given as weight, value and so on. So let us see, I'll say the first thing is, I want the color, okay, press tab. And there are total eight types of colors into your VB macros, eight standard colors. So I'll type as VB red, okay, or I call it as VB green, okay. That is one thing. Again, if you want, I can just say as range A1 to A10, sorry, range, a1 to a10 dot borders or i can say as yeah dot borders dot weight dot weight equal to let's say three i've given the weight the weight is only till four maximum four apart from that you cannot use it right now let's say what happens is if i go back again if i want to add some style line style so what i'll do is a1 to a10 dot borders dot line style okay and i can give as xl and i have to type as dot so what i've done is i have written here as line style equal to x excel dot so there are many line styles given excel dot excel dash and so on so once i execute step by step observe what will happen i hope you're able to see that so once i execute you can see and if i press f8 from my keyboard you see f8 so observe here the line style will come here f8 from my keyboard yeah now you see I've got the dotted line that is Excel dot. Second thing is I want dot color as VB green. So when I press F8, this color automatically changes to green color. Now again, I'll press F8. If you observe the weight of this line would be as three. Earlier it was not that weight. Now it has become as three. Similarly, I've executed, I've written some few macros. I'll try to bring that up. I'll just delete that and bring up so you can see that. So I've worked on this macros. What I'm trying to do is same borders dot line style everywhere dot excel dot dash continuous double and none so all this none will remove all the lines all the borders and if you want dotted line dash line continuous line basically there are many line styles i've selected only few of them if i press f8 for my keyboard i'll use better th this one so that you can see both of them yeah so right now it is dot line if you see here that's a dot line again if i again click on step into it is a dash line step into continuous line you observe here it's going on continuous line uh, so after this it will be continuous line now there's a continuous line yeah next is the double line if i again click on the step into excel double this one is the double line. if you want to remove all the borders whatever is given here you just type as excel none and all the borders will be removed f8 or you can say this so i hope you see all the borders line have been gone away right and finally i'll just press f8 f8 so it ends the execution part right so i hope you're able to understand how do you apply borders to your cells to your text okay when it comes with the help of macros without macros it is very easy but sometimes you want to automate the task that time macros are useful i hope you have understood that's all for this video